My journey in the material realm has been an ongoing realization of the true nature of existence, but not just as a singular form. Everything that I've experienced has been about joining together from my illusion as a separated self, and then its influence upon the entire collective through the contrast of life through darkness. It has all been for our, for my highest good, for growth, rising up and out of what appeared as such an impressive burden of servitude and oppression. The boot of oppression has been the very thing that brought me up, that brought us out to raise the mountain within as a rose. So much of what I experienced made me think that I had to collect things, keeping up material items in this world, which was so very superficial, empty and vain. And that is what made me miserable. The labor to collect that which was not lasting, temporal in the external realm, that was a real burden and oppression serving something not even alive. It enslaved me by my own doing. Even of the idea of being superior to anything or anyone, judging the exterior experience, taking sides through juxtaposition, as if my side was better, as if I was superior. It just led to my own oppression keeping me from moving up, like a seed that couldn't germinate, hidden in the dark of the earth, never springing up in order to surpass and excel from my base narratives in the system of comparisons, never to rise and shine in the glory of Shekinah. I had to see it for myself, and this was and is the only way to rise up out of all the constructed thought forms, egregores of my own making, let alone the collective. May we all see this. Realizing this and changing it is the only way to be counted in as having succeeded in making Aliyah going up into the state of being as Israel, the upright noble ones that carry authority, beings of the substance of fire, the hands that see having learned and teach as the wise. It is what I desire. But without having this revealed to me, to anyone, it is impossible to excel, to be counted in as the Rose family. And if we do not, we will continue to be caught in the land of naught, full of crime, fraud, and perversity. We will stay confused living a dull life, thinking that we see and do not, thinking that we hear and do not, void and full of nothing, as crooked, false, perverse, and bad, for the sake of our growth. Everything happens for us and not to us. The power of this revelation brings me back to my own sovereign stand adorning me in my days with beauty of the Shekinah, supporting me in all of my ways, giving me the power to speak something that has substance, telling of my journey, of how we're not fated to walk in the valley of the shadow of death, that we do not have to be cut off from our portion because we can cut off the lower thought forms of our material existence in order to comprehend expanding our consciousness to the loftier things. We do not need to be appointed for deception or anything to be used fraudulently against us, against me. We do not have to be oppressed by the knavish tricks used to deceive us through clandestine events. We do not need to pine away for things that just end up enslaving us. Rise up, ascend out of this madness. We are not something small, something lacking of importance, treated with indifference, humiliated as pawns pledged. We are so much more throw off the yoke of slavery, or stay as one of the flocks that are herded into destruction. I am more. I am enough. We are enough. In this revealing, may we be, may I be, those who truly hear and see, so that I, so that we can change the base elements of our existence as the always changing, always expounding. May we all be counted as those who rise.